All right, guys, I think this might be the best image quality I've gotten so far out of this Walmart camera. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we go. So I guess everybody has a different opinion on what they think looks good, right? Right now, I'm under no illusion that this has like the best resolution or anything, but you know, if you go from some of my videos that you know are earlier, you know, like my first video, I'm on number four. <laughs> um, if you go from video number one to video number four, you're going to start noticing a difference. So I'm going to pull up the studio and show you guys what I'm doing here. So. <clears throat> All right, here we are in the studio, and I'm gonna go into the Walmart cam. And in Walmart cam, um, when you choose, or in whatever you call your camera, um, you're gonna choose the um, devices. Sorry, I had Polly distracting me. But uh, you're gonna choose uh, custom because the device default is gonna just go ahead and try to put it on the highest res resolution, which is gonna cause a lot of lagginess and fuzziness. So, you know, we go to custom, and then you kind of gotta find a higher resolution, um, but lower than lower than the highest. Okay, I put on highest feet per second because I don't want to look laggy in my videos. I want things to kind of come together a little better. There's still some lag, but you know. Um, I think that it's a pretty doable setup for somebody that's in a static location. So um, once you come in here and you get your resolution set the way that you need it, it's going to be different for each camera. So I can't you know, tell you what your resolution needs to be set to, but I can show you where to go to adjust it and mess around with it. Uh, you're going to come in here, hit configure video. I don't really like the way this window pops up because you got to hit configure video and then the thing pops up somewhere else and then I got to move this thing. And then I got to go down here and then I got to find it and I got to do this. And, um, yeah, I think that's one of my only real complaints about this whole thing. But going back to the Walmart cam, when we're in here, see, now that goes away and I got to pop this thing back up so I can adjust it. So in here, and I know I'm supposed to be using this little window that I just drug away, but like what a pain in the butt that is. I can't even make that any bigger. It's like judge it off of because, you know, I don't know, but like, here and in, in, in this picture, it has a really, really bright upper area, which doesn't really reflect like what's actually going on, and at least the area that I want to focus on. So if I wanted to get rid of like Polly's cage and everything here in the background, I'm going to push the alt button and I'm going to drag the top of the window down and I can just focus in on me if I want to and get rid of some of this extra stuff. All right. Here to the back of my monitor. Okay, so like I can make my window look like this, or I can make it, even though the resolution is off, I can still make this. I'm not endorsed by Yeti, so let's go ahead and cover their name up. Yeti, don't worry. Come on and knock him. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so once we get that in place and we get it the way we like it, we can further keep making adjustments to try to make that area um, more focused in and actually looking at just me and trying to make this area because as you can see as I'm going to move around my light's going to hit me in different areas it's going to make me look different so maybe I don't like the way I'm looking when I look at the camera so I'll have to kind of take that into consideration the next time I go in there to make my adjustments because it's really hard to look at that camera and make the adjustments over here so um just try to keep all those things in mind while you're making those little adjustments and going through it because the way that you're looking at the camera right now may not be the way you want it adjusted when you're look when the camera's hitting you over here because maybe you're all washed out on one side and nobody can see anything and you don't even realize it because you can't make adjustments or you're looking at the right so just kind of like make sure you watch your own videos <laughs> kind of thing um Anyways, yeah, I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through how to set up a camera, even if it's kind of like a cheaper one, and make it look a little bit better and make it look a little bit more uh, professional, even though it's a cheap 
camera, it still works great. And I think my quality is getting a lot better just from doing these things, you know, and you know, unfortunately I haven't gotten a lot of comments because my, my channel channel has like three subscribers right now, but maybe eventually it'll grow and people will be able to give me more advice as to how I can utilize this camera in another way. I think that it works great right now, the way that it is and the way that it's set up out of the angle. So I'm really happy about it. Um, and you know what, I just have this sitting on the corner of a two person desk. So there's another person's like workstation on the other side. It's a big old wooden desk and it works awesome. So, you know, and, and, uh, I got this for free from my boss. So thank you, boss, man, if you're watching this and, uh, don't worry, I am still working. I'm just making these in the middle. I'll make excuses later. Okay. Anyways, everybody else, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Right about now, my subscribe button should be popping up somewhere right over here. Oh, and I'll try to stop hitting my microphone in the future. I'm an amateur, so I have some excuses. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.